You know, we look forward to spring turkey season every year. Spring's a great time of year, and we enjoy getting out there and hunting wild turkeys. It's a lot of fun, and it provides a lot of really good eating. You know, sometimes we'll take the bird and go ahead and pluck him, dress him out, and have him in the traditional fashion. The whole bird roasted with stuffing on the side, all the trimmings. That's a lot of work. Uh, a lot of times what we'll do instead is we'll go ahead and breast the bird where you just clean the bird by taking each side of the breast medallions off and taking the legs and you have it all in separate pieces there and that works really great if you do a lot of hunting and get quite a few birds. It also helps if you're traveling a lot and hunting turkeys out of state. Uh, it makes it easier to get them home than trying to keep a whole bird in a cooler. It makes them easier to freeze them. It makes them easier to store them because you don't need as much freezer space as you would if you had two or three whole turkeys trying to freeze three or four whole birds in your freezer. It's just not practical. So we brushed them a lot. And because we brushed them, a lot of them wind up uh, at the end of the day getting cut into strips and fried. Now fried turkey is a highlight of any spring season when we do get a bird. And it's really good. But let's admit it. If you kill a lot of turkeys, every now and then you get a little tired of having fried turkey. So what I'm going to do for you here today is I'm going to present a method we have for cooking turkey. Now this is actually Dana's recipe. I'll give her credit for it. But uh, it's quick and it's easy and it's really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started. And to do that, you're going to want to go ahead and put four or five tablespoons of margarine in a pan and start melting it. Now after you've got that done, you go ahead and you take your turkey breast. This is the breast medallion from a wild turkey. And of course we've trimmed the edges down here so that it's a little more uniform and it was a little easier to freeze. But we're going to take that and rub the entire medallion with some little bit of poultry seasoning and sprinkle it with a little garlic salt. Just sprinkle it on there rub it in really well and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this this whole medallion into four separate pieces so they're a nice smaller size that are more fitting to serve serving size pieces so let's go ahead and cut this into four pieces here four nice serving size pieces here and we're going to turn our attention to the margarine we just melted. Go ahead and brush a medium medium sized baking pan with melted butter. That's pretty much just so that the uh, turkey won't stick to the bottom of it while it's cooking. Now I did preheat the oven to 450 degrees before I started this. That's what I'm going to be cooking the bird at. Okay. Now that we've got the pan all set up, we're just going to place the serving size pieces of turkey into the baking pan. We're going to move on to the next step. Get yourself a large mixing bowl And I have four cans of cream of chicken soup. Now this is where you can get a little creative. You can use the cream of chicken. If you like mushrooms, you can go ahead and use cream of mushrooms. You can also use cream of celery for this if you'd like. I just got cream of chicken because they have it on sale up at the grocery when I was up there. These are small cans too. These aren't full size cans. These are 17 ounce cans. So if you're using the larger cans, go ahead and 
maybe use three cans, but don't cut it. I know they say to add moisture, water, or milk here, I guess, to this if you were cooking in a soup. You don't want to use that. You want to use thickness, it comes out of the can. And then what we're going to do once we got that in the bowl is just go ahead and get a bag of frozen vegetables. This has carrots, peas, beans, corn in it. And ah, my old teeth are getting kind of worn down, so I'm going to open this with a pair of scissors. I used to just bite the corner and open them up, but I'm going to use a pair of scissors for this. Dump those right on into the soup mix. Go ahead and just stir that up real well so that the vegetables are mixed in with the soup. When it's well mixed, we're going to just go right ahead and pour the whole mixture right over your turkey medallions and spread it out evenly so it covers the meat really well. Once you've got the mixture spooned over and covering the turkey, go ahead and cover it with tin foil and we're going to pop this in the oven and bake it for a while. It's going to take about an hour to an hour and a half at 450 degrees. So yeah, so this is done. This took a little longer than I had anticipated it was going to. It took about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, of course, I used a meat thermometer just to make sure that the internal temperature of the thickest piece of turkey was well, over 165 and it took about an hour and 45 minutes. Now, what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and place your turkey on top of a bed of instant rice and go ahead and scoop some of this soup and vegetable mixture right on top of the rice. And you serve it right up like that with a piece of bread on the side. Why was it so here? You can see. What? Dana here has been responsible for for all the uh, <laughs> oh, no, I was like, oh yeah, you forgot to tell me step out of the pit. No, then she's been responsible oh. for all the second camera angle angles. You can thank her for getting all the second camera angles. I've been telling her <laughs> to jump back while I was filming. She's laughing because I she thought I forgot to stop. But yeah, this is a great way to enjoy your wild turkey. Let's see, you can go ahead and second camera's done there. Wow. You can go ahead and turn. I was just getting a close up of the meal here for us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, this is a really great way to enjoy your wild turkey breast this spring if you get a little tired of fried turkey. But we're going to go ahead and eat. Um, I hope you join us. We have a lot of action coming up this spring. We're going to be on some wild turkey hunting trips coming up. Looks like we're going to get a chance to do that after all. Uh, head, of, head of state turkey hunt coming up. I hope we have some luck. This weekend, uh, two days, opening day of trout season. So, not only be sure to give this delicious wild turkey recipe a try, but we'd appreciate your subscription, and we hope to see you real soon. We're CamelotChairProductions.com, sharing the outdoors on YouTube.